quite an open biotech exploration. Uh, there are maneuvers that can be performed. Uh, first of all, you have to perform a generous coker maneuver. Uh, make sure you feel the stone. It may be impacted. Then what you do is make a vertical opening in the common bile duct and you can milk the stone towards it and retrieve it. The other thing is you can introduce instruments through this opening in the bile duct and then use it to flush out the stone such as Fogarty balloon or a catheter or you can use long instruments to retrieve the stone. Now if the stone is impacted and these maneuvers fail then you may have to do a bypass which would be a cholidoco jejunostomy or a cholidoco jejunostomy. Cholidoco jejunostomy is preferred. It's basically an anastomosis between the vertical incision that you made on the bile duct to a transverse incision that you will make on the duodenum and that's a bypass uh, for the flow of bile. The advantage is that if this patient needs an ERCP later down the line, it is still an option. With a cholidoco jejunostomy or a hepatico jejunostomy, this uh, longer surgical bypass that is bypassed for the bile flow, but a future procedure such as ERCP would be much more harder to perform. The other maneuver or surgical procedure that can be form, performed is a surgical sphincterotomy and a sphincteroplasty. In that case, you make a vertical incision on the second part of the duodenum, isolate where the ampulla is. You can do that, identify it by placing in a catheter transystically and uh, perform a surgical sinterotomy uh, and then the retrieval of the stone. Make sure to close this duodenum in a transverse fashion to avoid a narrowing of the duodenum. So these are the maneuvers that can be performed in an open uh, fashion.